I've got a little friend. Hey Susie. Are you going to say hello to your adoring public? This is Susie Sue. She's a little bit sticky. And she was one on Tuesday. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> There we go. Vlogmas day two. <laughs> um, thank you everyone for all your lovely comments on yesterday's video. Um, the first day of Vlogmas is always a little bit more for my family um, as it's Jocelyn's birthday, but I'm glad to see that you enjoyed watching along as well. Um, I'll just dive straight in. Um, Friday, been at work this morning, shenanigans, home very glad it's the weekend dug out my little parcels so another yellow stripey from Ruth oh lovely a very nice pencil Ooh, and this is Cambrian wool from Hilltop Cloud. Cambrian wool is a Welsh wool collective. So a group of local farmers who pull all their fleece resources together. Um, and then Katie of Hilltop Cloud. I think she's Hilltop Katie on Instagram. Um, dyes up some of their fibre and sells it in her online shop. Um, and I think... I think they have some commercially spun up as well. I can't quite remember. I'll do a bit of investigating. And if you're interested in proper Welsh wool, there's links down below, both to Cartrev Yarn, which is the Welsh wool business that I run, and also Cambrian Yarn. Look at that. Oh, it's actually a little greener in real life like that. It's a sort of chartreusey, acidy yellow green, but gorgeous. Thank you, Ruth. And... Ooh, a Christmas pud chocolate, a swizzles lolly, I'm not sure what that is, ooh, and a little lint chocolate, lovely, I have terrible teeth by the end of this advent period, and then day two of the yarn and yarns fibre advent, I'm sorry about the light, it's, um, I'm recording a little bit later in the day. Okay. Silent Night Drum Carded Bat in Corridale Fibre. Ooh. Do you think I'll be able to do a single episode of this without saying ooh? <laughs> that's gorgeous. Now that's coming up pretty true to colour actually. Isn't that gorgeous? I can hear Jim the dog barking. I've locked him out. I'll be back in a second. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just gave them both a treat. And if you don't keep your eye on them, Susie will eat hers really fast and then steal Jim the dog's. So I put Jim the dog outside to eat his and Susie has her in the dining room. Hey, Jim the dog. Do you want to say hello to your adoring public as well? There he is. Hey, Jim. What do you think of the fibre? Is it safe? Susie? You going to check it? Jim? No, I think we're alright. I think it's safe. Uh, yes, so that was today's lovely fibre advent from Ange. Corridale. Drum carded bat in silent night. Might be a little bit damp from the dog snoots now, but you've got to test these things. Um, as I said in the last one, I haven't done a proper podcast since April and that was the Wonderful one. So I've got quite a few makes and acquisitions to show you. So I thought I'd just dot them in a bit during Vlogmas. So first up, I wanted to show you my dad's Christmas socks. I thought I, oh yes, here we are. So these are knit from 
a skein of Volmeister Twin, which is 8020 Merino Nylon in the colourway Corn Bloom, which I assume means cornflower. Now, they're on my largest sock blockers, um, but my dad has larger feet even than that, so they don't um, look terribly tidy. But hopefully you can see the stitch pattern on them. So this pattern is called the Simple Skype Socks. Skype, S-K-Y-P, Skip, Skype. Um, it's a free pattern available on Ravelry. I don't know if it's available anywhere else, I'm afraid. And I knit a two by two rib, top down, heel flap and gusset, and an umbrella toe, which if you're not familiar, is a toe designed by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. Um, and rather than decreasing in a wedge, um, you decrease evenly around the sock toe, so you get a nice rounded toe. And it, I just feel it looks nice on blockers. Does look nice and tidy, doesn't it? And I also feel like it spreads the tension out a bit across the sock foot. It's a an eight six by two a six by two rib, and you slip one, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over. Must be a yarn over in there somewhere. I can't remember the pattern, but it's it's that perfect sweet spot of brainless but not quite. So those are going to be for my dad. Um, and then while I was sorting through, I'm sitting on like a poof, an Ottoman poof thing. Um, and that's where I keep all my knitting works in progress since we've got Susie because she does love attacking my yarn. I was having a bit of a sort out and I came across this bag, which was a lovely gift from a friend on LSG. And I thought, oh, I wonder what's in there. It's a pair of socks that I'd finished and I forgot all about them. So years ago... I knit my dad a pair of Christmas socks in the pheasant colourway by West Yorkshire Spinners, a signature four ply, part of their birds collection. Um, so there's their label. I said it's the pheasant colourway. Um, and I knit those as a gift for my dad. And it, they were very hard to give away <laughs> because I love the colour so much. Um, so I promised one day that I'd knit myself a pair and I did. So I bought this yarn from Ange. I could actually put them on the, put one of them at least on a sock blocker, then you'd see them a bit better. Just a plain stocking stitch. The, the yarn is so gorgeous, I didn't want to do anything fancy. So it's the same recipe as my dad's. Two by two rib, top down heel flap and gusset with an umbrella toe. Um, and I'm pretty sure... I got them about as matchy as you can get. So they both have a yellow, uh, the orangey colour cast on. And if we look at the toes, I mean, that's, you know, I think maybe there's one less row of green on this sock, but near as damn it, eh? So yeah, these are fresh. Although I finished knitting them quite a while ago, I haven't worn them yet, so. I'll have some nice fresh socks for the weekend. Okay, well, I think that's all I've got for today. Keep this one nice and short if I can. Um, I'm going to try and find some time to go through your comments from yesterday. I hope you guys are all having a lovely December. Um, I will do one or two Q&A vlogmases um, over the course of the month. So if you guys have any questions you want to ask me, just pop them in the comments below this video. And I'll gather them all up and ask, ask and answer, do the Q&A session a bit later in the month. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.